Well, it's uh, May 1st, and uh, it's a gorgeous morning in Ithaca. Um, I've been to the visitor center, and um, they've told me to take Highway 79 out of um, out of uh, the downtown area, head west, and uh, we'll uh, get to a uh, road. Uh, called Rachel Carson Boulevard, I believe it is, uh, which is very appropriate where we'll find the Ithaca Eco Village. Um, she said um, they're usually pretty flexible about um, giving people tours, um, so hopefully they'll be around and um, we'll get the opportunity to uh, uh, take a look around. Um, so off we go. Um, just to come up on um, Rachel Carson Lane, um, which uh, goes into the Ithaca Eco Village. So we're just about to go down the laneway and uh, take a look. It's the community center at Ithaca. Located in upstate New York, a group of families got together to build an environmentally responsible community that would use advanced energy systems while keeping home prices affordable. There are a total of 15 duplex houses with 30 units located close to town to reduce transportation time and costs. By including a large extra community house with spaces all re residents could use, such as a wood shop, soundproof music room, and kids' playroom, individual houses could be slightly smaller. This common house has its own climate system, featuring a geothermal heat pump and a radiant floor heating system. The village currently includes two 30-home co-housing neighborhoods, an organic CSA vegetable farm and organic berry farm, office spaces for cottage industry, an education office, a neighborhood root cellar, an ecosystem res restoration project, a sheep pasture, and varied natural areas. Over 80% of the 175-acre site is planned to remain green space, including 55 acres in a conservation easement. Future village elements under consideration include more accessible and affordable housing, an education center, a charter school, village scale wind power, organic orchards, a roadside farm stand, an on-site biological wastewater treatment system, grey water recycling, biomass energy crops, on-site biodiesel vegetable oil fuel production, car share, shuttle van, a natural cemetery, and an expanding portfolio of educational programs. All homes employ passive solar design and are insulated with 7 inches of cellulose recycled newspaper in a double wall design which allows the plumbing and wiring to run completely inside the insulating barrier. Triple pane fiberglass windows keep out the cold while welcoming winter solar heat gain. South facing deciduous vines minimize overheating in warmer months. Heat is provided by a shared hot water system with one gas boiler per cluster of eight homes. These centralized boilers are designed to allow integration of future renewable energy inputs, such as solar collectors. Dual drain piping in houses was designed to enable gray water system. 